Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday the 10th, I think. Yeah, October 10th. Ooh, I cannot believe it's October. I feel like it's still like June. <laughs> this month, I mean, this year has fallen by like crazy for me. And um, I know a lot of people say it's like dragging by, but to me, it's like psh, gone. I feel like it was just March. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm sitting here sewing. I am putting labels in the outers and sewing the outers together. So here's the stack I have to do. Here's the stack that I have done. So they basically look like bags. Right now, they just don't have liners. So I'm gonna get all the outers done. Today is my goal, and then tomorrow, Sunday, I'm gonna do the liners. And Monday, I'm gonna put the outers and liners together and run the drawstrings and take pictures and get ready for the update on Tuesday. So I'm gonna finish these up this morning, hopefully. <laughs> Might take me a little bit into the afternoon. But, um, because there's 56 to do. I've already done quite a few, though. But anyways, uh, I'm going to try to get these done sooner so I can do some cleaning today. And i got to get dinner going in the crock pot. But I can't put that on until about 1. Because then it'll be done right before Devin gets home. <laughs> and crocheting. I haven't got to crochet very much at all the last few days. I did sit down and crochet a little bit on my Oceans of Love wrap. Uh, last night, I think I did like three rolls on it. Uh, I want to I want to get that done in my just feel festive shawl done and I want to make some amigurumis I haven't made any amigurumis in forever <laughs> thinking about making some little ones to put on my Etsy shop because they seem to be the ones people like to buy I guess because they're little I don't know <laughs> but um I got some little stars and all those daffodils that I made earlier this year to take to the daffodil festival that happened as soon as COVID started and it got canceled you know so I was gonna go to that and hand them out just to people so I got a whole bunch of them. I think I got like 40 something of them or 50 something. I can't remember. But I'm going to post them on that shop too. And uh, just because they're just sitting around. And I don't know what it's going to be like next March. And if there's another Daffodil Festival, I don't know, you know, if it's going to be canceled or not. Who knows? We don't know what's happening. <laughs> but um, I can always make more. They're super quick and easy. But uh, so I'm going to put those. And I got some little stars, little amigurumi stars that I made. I'm going to put them on the shop this next up update too. And then I'm going to try to find some more cute little patterns just to whip out. Because I'm, I'm just kind of wanting to work on amigurumis. I don't know. I will see. My watch is buzzing. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get some more sewing done. And then I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, it's evening time now. It is almost 6 o'clock. I'm sitting here. I got my window open. And you can kind of see it. It's gloomy and rainy. Rainy has been all day. <laughs> but it's been nice. It's cool and the air is coming in. Jesse ended up going with my mom. He hasn't been with her in a long time. He's been real clingy to me, which is fine. I love him to death. <laughs> but um, she came to drop something off earlier. Did I already say this? I feel like I already said this. I don't know. I see it. Oh, never mind. It was an aunt. I thought it was an aunt, but it was an aunt. <laughs> so I flew off. But anyways, he went with her to her house. And uh, I'm waiting to see if we got to pick him up later or if he's going to stay the night. I don't know. But anyways, I'm sitting here watching uh, YouTube videos, catching up on my watch later list. <laughs> and I've seen that it is National Yarn. I love Yarn Day. So I thought today would be a good day to give, do a giveaway. <laughs> so um, I'm just putting it in my vlog because then people who actually watch the videos can enter the giveaway. But yeah, I'll open it up to anywhere in the, the world that can accept a package from the U.S. Uh, if you win and you're out of the country, you, you'll have to pay duties and taxes if your country requires that. Um, be over 18. <laughs> I would prefer you to be a subscriber and I'm assuming if you're watching a vlog you're probably a subscriber <laughs> but yeah i think that's everything so to enter the giveaway just leave a comment and put i love yarn in the comment somewhere and the yarn that's going to be given away is this it is some um, knit crate yarn that i got i think it's a vitalana yeah it's a vitalana colorways mid midsummer rose i think it was uh last month's color it's really pretty uh boysenberry color <laughs> it's like a purpley red deep deep color really pretty it's 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, and 20% silk, 400 yards each. So it's 800 yards of finger and weight yarn. It's a lot of yarn. <laughs> but I'm just going to give that away. I got some more yarn stacked up in my craft room to do random giveaways. So I need to start doing the random giveaways <laughs> and get it out of my craft room. But I'm sitting here. I'm crocheting on my Just Feel Festive shawl. I got done with one whole color. The solid green. So, solid darker green and then I added the mixture that's darker green and light green and I decided I'm gonna do all three of the green colors and then I'm gonna attach the blue and do all three of the blue colors and I'm not even sure if it'll be long enough then but we'll, uh, 
we'll deal with that when I get there. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and probably call it a day just because I want to sit here and relax until Devin comes home because we have to, we're for sure running over to my in-laws because uh, my father-in-law smoked a turkey and he wanted us to come pick up some of it because it made a lot of meat. And then I'll see about going to pick up Jesse. We were going to watch fireworks tonight. There's a, a celebration going on at our town square, but it's raining. So I'm guessing the fireworks is going to be canceled. <laughs> it's like a craft fair uh, concert thing. They do it every year to celebrate. Um, what's his name? I uh, forgot his name. Lester Flat. I think it's his name. He uh, was a bluegrass ma magici magician. <laughs> Musician. Uh, from here and he was pretty famous in the bluegrass country music kind of world back in the day <laughs> And he lived here and they do it every year. It's called uh, they call it Liberty Square, but it's also no known as the Lester Flat um, Celebration and they play like bluegrass music all day live and uh, all kinds of businesses and people like me craft people set up booths and uh, churches do like food booths and um, Stuff like that. <laughs> I usually go to it every year, but you know this year one, Devin's working, two, it's raining all day, and three, COVID. <laughs> but, um, I'm guessing some people still went to it because I've been seeing Facebook posts about it. And I don't know if we'll see fireworks. If they do shoot them off, I'll try to catch a clip of them. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Watch from the comfort of my couch. 